Hi, this is Chris Cardona. During the first Ocean Medallion cruise on board Regal Princess, I had the great opportunity to spend time with John Paget, the Chief Experience and Innovation Officer with Carnival Corporation, and we discussed how Ocean is changing the at-home and on-board experience for Princess Cruises. Hi, we're on board the Regal Princess, and today I'm here with John Paget, who is the Chief Experience Officer with Carnival Corporation. And uh, John, thank you very much for uh, meeting with us today. Absolutely, pleasure. Thank, thank you so much. So how long have you been in the development of Ocean and the Ocean Medallion? Well, we devised a vision about three years ago, and it took us about six months to hone in exactly what we wanted to do. And then we've been in earnest effort building this thing for about the last two and a half years. So everything from all the software, all the hardware, all the XIO2 infrastructure, the design of the medallion, the manufacturing of the medallion, the creation of the supply chain, the out-of-box experience that you had, every portal on the ship, the door locks, the and integrated into a holistic experience. We've done that all in about two and a half years. Really an unbelievable amount of work in that's, two and a half years. That's incredible. Wow. How long does it actually take to convert a non-medallion ship to a ship with a medallion? That is a great question. Is that there's really two components. There's all the infrastructure and what we're doing when we, we go into a dry dock and we fuse all the XIOT infrastructure during that dry dock period. And then we can layer the software across the ship at any time. So physically, about two weeks. Um, from a software and uh, activation standpoint, a couple of weeks of integrating with the operation and getting into it. And this ship was in a dry dock earlier this year? Absolutely. This ship was in Hamburg and had a dry dock, and it was just an exceptional drive. We actually finished our integrations a couple of days early, so it was uh, quite nice. We've done three, the Caribbean Princess, the Royal Princess, and the Regal Princess, all of which are now theoretically dining class enabled from an infrastructure standpoint. So we've been talking about a lot of the innovation that's been happening with Ocean Medallion, and to take innovation to a next level, this place was not here yesterday. So can you talk a little bit about Oceanfront and what people will see when they come here? Yes, Oceanfront is all things Ocean. So the first thing that happens in Oceanfront is we have navigators here to answer any questions that our guests will have. And as they want to understand what Play Ocean, and Social Ocean, and Ocean View, and all the various products and services that we have that are part of the Medallion Class Experience, they can come here, our navigators can answer those questions. But we also have everything else, all things Ocean. So we have gaming, we have retail, we have accessories for the medallion. It's a great location. So John, everyone always talks that you are the magic band guy, you help create the bands at Disney. But this is much more than just a band. Maybe tell us a little bit about that. Definitely. The Magic Band is awesome. Everyone seems to focus on bands these days. But we wanted to make sure that we focused on the guests. And with the guests, that's why we devised the Ocean Medallion, because you can wear the Ocean Medallion in a band just as you see here. Super comfortable, easy, really good pools. But, you know, cruising is very different in the sense that you have the elegant venues, the high-end restaurants, but you also have pool sites. So we to make sure there's flexibility that the guests can use the medallion the way they choose fit or have a variety of different ways throughout their cruise. And so, for example, this is a pendant that a lady may would love to wear at a great dining experience. You just pop your medallion out, no tools necessary, and drop it in the next accessory, easy as that. And so, no instructions, no tools, no anything, just all ease for the guests, just to make sure the guests can enjoy their vacation the way they want. One thing I actually noticed when putting it in is how quickly the magnets align to the proper position. It's actually, that's by design because we wanted the branding to always be oriented correctly. So there's science in, and art in the placement of the magnets to make sure that the brand is represented appropriately. You know, we also have lanyards because cruisers love lanyards. And lanyards are very easy, very comfortable. And so we made sure that we have a variety of lanyards. And then these are customizable as well, and then we'll also be associated with certain loyalty levels, as well as many other things that people like from a fashion accessory standpoint. So it's all about accessorizing, a little bit of fashion, a lot of flexibility, and all about guest choice. 
So John, we've been all over the ship and we were wearing our ocean medallions and everyone seems to be the color blue, but looking at this board here, I see a, a, a red and a black and a real sweet purple looking one. Absolutely. Is there a significance to these colors? Definitely. So we start with blue because ocean blue, princess blue is a great yeah. place to start. But ultimately it's about guest choice and what colors they like that they can accessorize with their lifestyle. And so all of these colors uh, are in our roadmap and you'll be seeing them coming soon. Guess we'll be able to choose their color before coming on vacation so it'll be fulfilled in the out-of-box experience and they can match it up with their outfit fits and, and accessories and get excited about another level of personalization. Excellent. Actually, speaking of personalization, will there ever be opportunities for you to actually put a personalized message on the medallion itself if someone's celebrating a significant occasion in their life, perhaps? Well, it's very interesting to bring that up. Personalization is the tenant of all of the medallion class. And so whether it's the medallion, the accessories, whether it's the tag along, whether it's your out-of-box experience, all of them have elements of personalization that you'll be able to select and choose. So it ultimately creates a vacation that's unique for every single individual. So John, maybe you can explain to the audience a little bit about the integration of the gaming experience both on board and at home through Play Ocean Everywhere. Super excited about Play Ocean Everywhere. Uh, for decades, gaming in the cruise space has been confined to the casino. But we want to be more inclusive with Medallion Class, so we've expanded gaming to include all types of games, fun and wager, and even games all the way back to guest homes, so they can engage with our experience 365, 24 by 7. A great game on Play Ocean Everywhere is something called Queen Sea Poker. And you see here, there's the queen on my device, and at home you can play for clams, on ship you can play for real money. But not only can you play for real money on the ship, you actually engage with the real pirate queen in poker playing her game. So we've taken digital space at home, 365, anywhere, all the way onto the ship, brought out of the digital game and have an immersive experience with the real queen. I don't think that's ever been done in the cruise space or, for that matter, anywhere else in the world. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Wow. So John, a lot of people want to stay connected when they're at sea, uh, maybe you know, just want to reach out to home a few times, but you have really fast internet on board this ship. Can you maybe talk to our audience a little bit about that? Absolutely. We have blown it out from a connectivity standpoint. We have the best Wi-Fi at sea, the best internet connectivity at sea. It's fast, it's reliable, it's pervasive, and it's affordable. So no longer is connectivity a negative connotation to any cruise experience. In fact, now it's just as good as land and we stay connected all the time. It's fabulous. That's great. And um, can you maybe explain a little bit about the packages that you do have and what services are actually included? Absolutely. So Medallion Net itself is complimentary to everyone and gives you access to a portfolio of digital experiences. Social Ocean, Ocean Concierge, Play Ocean, all these various digital services are all easily accessible via Medallion Net online for free. Now, Medallion Net internet access on board is very simple. $9.99 per device, per day, unlimited. No strings attached. That's great. So with the included services in SocialOcean, what kind of applications on a guest uh, phone would they be able to use? So SocialOcean is a killer digital experience for two reasons. First is you have this thing called the tag along. Tag along is kind of like something like it doesn't exist in the world uh, except for here. But you go ahead and make a digital avatar essentially and you pick your own colors, you pick your own uh, species of fish. And now this creature basically is your companion throughout your experience. So that is something that really unbelievable and has never been done before. But also SocialOcean has another killer feature, which is messaging via your favorite messaging platform. So you don't have to learn how to message differently when you're on a medallion class group. You can use Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, WeChat, or iMessage all included with no additional calls. So that's game changing. That's fantastic. So John, what about the classics on board, like bingo and lotteries? How is that going to change with this new experience? Well, we love bingo and lottery because cruisers a lot of times love bingo and lottery, and they are definitely classics. But with bingo, for instance, on a typical cruise, it's only played a couple of times during a cruise. Now, our guests will be able to play bingo 24 by 7, and either play on a paper card 
or digitally on the mobile device via Play Ocean, and it's all the same game, all simultaneously. So we're super excited about that. And then Lotto, as you know, on all the cruise ships being talked to cruise, you have to go buy the tickets, you have to stand in line, you have to do all that payment. And a lottery will also be available 24 by 7 all the time. So super game changer as it relates to lottery. That will be coming soon. We do not have that active yet, but it will be coming in weeks to come. So we're sitting here in, in uh, front of actually Paradise Island in Nassau, Bahamas, and the ocean is just always around you on a cruise ship. But talk to us a little bit about Ocean View and the programming and what's going to be coming with that. Ocean View is amazing, and that's our direct digital channel with all of our original content series, six current series on Ocean View. But what Ocean View is all about is connecting the people and the places and cultures around the world with amazing experiences. And there's no place better to do that than via cruising. The cruise lifestyle, cruise vacations are amazing. And they come at an amazing value. And what we're doing with all of the Ocean View content is showing the real deal. What happens for reality. Every experience in any of the original series you can do as a guest. It's not about exclusive behind the scenes or just for celebrities. It's about experiences everyone can participate in. So it really dispels the myths around the cruising and takes cruising to really the apex of vacation experiences. Yeah, one of the shows that I, I frequently watch is uh, Vacation Creation. I just love how the dynamic between the two hosts, it's very fun, it's, a, and it's very thoughtful to, to bring people on board that deserve a vacation, um, and uh, we'd we be putting more of those shows out as well? Yeah, absolutely. Vacation Creation is an awesome show. It was on the CW Network last year, and it's now moved to ABC Network, as well as on Ocean View. Uh, Tommy and Andrea do a wonderful job making dreams come true on Vacation Creation. We also have The Voyager with Josh Garcia that's on NBC. And that's really about the cultures that we experience when we go uh, on cruise experiences. And then we have Ocean Treks with Jeff Corwin, another winner. Uh, Ocean Treks with Jeff Corwin where he really goes and sees the environmental aspects, the adventure aspects. But he does everything that shows that everything is accessible. You know, if you like to dive, great, like to snorkel, great, but all those things are available for whatever skill level you have on ocean vacation, so we're super excited about that. And then we have uh, Good Spirits, as you know, that's on Ocean View. I think you saw Matthew earlier today, yeah. and so we're actually filming an episode of Good Spirits on board. We're going to take that right back up to Ocean View, and as you know, Ocean View is available on Apple TV, uh, Roku, and Amazon Fire, so now literally guests that are on immersive experiences on the dining class are now in original content back up on Ocean View, distributed across the world on our uh, Ocean View uh, channel. So we're super excited about that. We also have Go and Localize uh, as well. Go is unbelievable. These Go and Localize are a little bit different. They're formatted for more of the mobile lifestyle. They're about five to eight minutes long, all commercial free. Go is inspiring. Once you watch Go, if you don't want to go vacation after you watch Go, then you're not alive. So super excited about that. You may see Trek on board. Um, and then Andy Corley does Localize. And what Localize is all about is making sure that every single destination that we visit and take our guests to has a purpose. Everything's unique, every culture's unique, all the people are unique, and that really emphasizes that all Caribbean is not the same. Every location in the Caribbean has a distinct, unique purpose, and we're super excited to bring our guests into all of that. Yeah, that's great. I, I did have a chance to watch one of the Go episodes where he was talking about Malta, yes. which is where my family is from originally, and just incredible in a five-minute span, they capture a lot of the essence and nuances. So definitely get out there and, and watch those programs. And I just have to say thank you again, John, Pleasure. for your time today. Thank you. It's a wonderful experience, and uh, this will be coming, and more will be coming out in the uh, near future. And uh, just thank you so much for your time today. It's a pleasure. Thank you.